I, from a private stalking page, because I was stalking you the whole breakup, <laughs> I watched our interview and I was just like, I really saw it from a different perspective because I felt like he was so open with you compared to a lot of the other interviews. So I learned, honestly, a lot about how he viewed the breakup and the, about the breakup and about me kind of through you. I feel like with a lot of other platforms, I was like, oh, that was, it was too soon. Y'all talked to him too soon. Those weren't real feelings, but. I had time. Yeah, I feel like by the time he sat with you, it was the first interview I was like, I might unblock I, this nigga. I think he felt the same way because it's crazy because we talked and I think you said your mom's watched it. Yeah. yeah. And he that. was like, yo, my mom's was like, Right? Yeah, like, yeah. he was oh, like, God. I remember that. Yeah, he was like, yeah. my mom's loved it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She, she, mom's, she it, like, she, you was a good uh, inter, it was interviewer, good. you know what I'm saying? And so, I think she was like, you know, you she smoked. They said it was good. Yeah. yeah. It was she was like, it was good. Yeah. 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 Like, he told yeah. me, he was like, yo, it was, yeah. I want I you was to do watching it. it biting my nails, but. We talking about yours. Oh, mine? Yeah, yeah, nah. Mine yeah. was nice. My mama caught, she caught, yeah, yeah. What? It was Nah, nah, yours is different. It was. It was fire. It was fire. It was different. It was yeah, it was like, different. Uh, it, was, it was. I feel like y'all been trying to jump me. Like, no, what? no, it was good. He, I'm saying he called me telling oh. me how good it was. Oh, you watched my interview? Yeah. Oh, because he don't let me know stuff no, like that. Hold on, hold on. He I don't let watch, me know stuff like that. I didn't that. watch all of it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched his whole I started, interview. I started it and went through scrolling. I you watched the whole interview with just, some popcorn. Because mm. I was I was like, my my men, my mental is, you know, most important. And I know how much love I got for it. So just to sit here and watch this whole interview and maybe not hear some of the things that I might want to hear is like, no. Nah, nah, so let's go to it. Before we get to... No, I just want to set up the stage. Before we get to right now, let's go back there, if y'all don't mind. The exactly. reason from you and the reason from you. Then, not now. Your reason was? <laughs> Two different reasons. What was your reason? Then. I forgot. So you don't, you don't know he the reason? Went, oh, my God. Huh? He got back, he got back so in So you good. don't know he the like, reason why we broke up? Yeah, your reason. Oh, your reason, though. But I know he said my reason. Yeah, your, your reason. reason. Because it's so different from mine. Yeah, not now. Not now. Not now after we talked about it, after we came to an so agreement. So what was my reason? Hell I'm asking. Hell. See, that's how you know, friend, it was Cap. <laughs> you know that the reason was Cap because he don't even remember what he told you okay, the reason I'm was. I'm not a person that just hold, stick on stuff. Like, I just move forward. This is going. true. So in, in, his, this is in, true. in his defense, I don't think Mozzie ever had a reason, but I don't think he liked how you handled it, I think. Right. I think, like, so... And I'm, cause I don't, I didn't even prepare, cause I'm like, right. I f with y'all, just being real. I think from Mozzie's perspective, it was like, you don't do that, like, kind of, yeah. right? Yeah. From you had more of a reason, right? Right. right Mozzie right. was like, man, right. like, see it through. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, I, I if I'm understanding, I right. can't yeah, yeah. say yeah. though. I can say, okay, since we go this there. past sense though. Okay, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I can say that. You know, even at the time, I still felt like, you know, we should have, we should have stuck it out, fight it. You know what I'm saying? But as a woman and coming from, you know, knowing... I ain't Let's not get to understanding yet. Okay. Not, not yet. Oh, yeah. Well, not yet, not yet. I didn't have no understanding. Okay. Because okay. It's, it's like, what's mine, you know what I'm saying, or what we believe we going to... What we say we're going to do, we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? We had, I mean, we, we had a deep conversation. Mm. So it's bigger than just some things that I might have a problem with that I need to learn, mm. you know what I'm saying? If you talking about somebody that you planning on being with for the rest of your life, I got 20 more years or 30, 40 more years to live, you know what I'm saying? So don't just hold me to the ones that I may have lived, but not even learn the right way, you mm. feel me? Give me time to be with you, you know, hold this down with you, hell, I'm faithful. Everything I do, I'm bringing it to the highs. It's like, that's what it is. Man, that time. And if I'm willing, and it's, if I gotta learn, I'm willing to learn. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a girl or whatever, be he, he make it sound so nice. And at, at the we saying. again, we talk it sounds presence. so nice. At, at the time, a year ago, for you, it was more about stability. That was it. I I will always say like when when we broke up, it was so many people around me. Like as far as my immediate friends and family, like girl, you got a faithful guy who's this, that's that. And the one issue is like. And, and I wanted to clarify because it was a lot of confusion. People were running with this whole scenario of Mozzie's broke, Mozzie this. It's like, we both doing a YouTube. If you seeing me, you know I'm not broke. If we both want 50-50, you know he's not broke either. But my one issue was I felt like 
and we talk about this. Like, yeah. this is not the first time I'm hearing this. Like, I felt like we were yeah. making the income and our income was changing and it was growing. And it was like, this was the blessing that our broker asses was asking for when we first met. Mm. Now, I felt like once we came into the financial blessing, we had two different end games. And for me, that was a fear as a woman. Like, we were planning a wedding the next year. We had just bought the house. It's like all mortgages here. It's cars <laughs> got to get paid off. He got children. I'm trying to have a baby. It's, it was a lot. And I think that oh, I noticed really. year five, because people had this thing like, well, you didn't notice that all them years you waited to year five to leave. Year five was for me where the real money started coming in. And I felt like at the point where we were about to get married, our end game was different. He was focused on like, Investing in the studio, investing in his career, in, investing in image and jewelry and just the the image of the artist. And as much as I kind of agreed and understood that, I'm a woman. I was already, once we got in the house, I was already thinking of paying off the house. I was thinking of the big wedding. I was thinking of like debts being paid off, but our mentalities are different. I am a person who I try to hold on to it more and I am an overthinker. To default, he's a person like if we made a hundred thousand, why would you be trying to sit here and penny count and do all this? Let's invest it in this and let's do this. I'm like, you going too fast. Like, this is not gonna work. Like, I don't look at money like that. I'm a person who kind of and we still don't agree to this day on this. Was, I'm going to sit on it. And then, and then I, I that's did also seen how much, you know, we brought to the table together. You know what I'm saying? And like what like it was just like, man. We just, yeah, we, it was crazy how everything with it. <laughs> well, we went to move fast. fast. Like I just said earlier today, we went from a con time, well, my three bit, what, my crib. You had crib. the, uh, the shit that you been had. Yeah, then you the met her with the then family, then the condo, condo then within the three two months. Condos, then the man, like, bruh, shit. I'm a like listen, listen but he to never who, expressed to I am. that this was going to fast. Guy who Let comes, me say that I'm a guy who, you know, I leave my dudes eyes to go and do my own thing. Like not saying that I had it together. I'm your young like I'm one of the guys that you may have looked on the street. I might be out here big strut like anything in the street. You know what I'm saying? Got drugs, trying to say do all these type of things, like, but not even doing it the right way because I ain't have no guidance. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like to come to that, to this, and to getting all this, you know, moving in. It's like, oh man. It's but I feel me. like you could have been a more, a little more open yeah, about those yeah, things. I, I feel like I didn't learn a lot of this stuff to I'm the breakup. Secret. It was almost like. I felt like as the woman, I had to leave you to kind of get him to express like, well, dang, you was just, it was going so quick. I'm trying to keep up. I'm like, I didn't think you was trying to keep up. You look very comfortable to me in the Louis Vuitton store. Mm. You look very comfortable in sex. I didn't know. So being real, I, my mentality was. You, uh, it's what? crazy. Go ahead. That's the way. You spent you spent a lot on me on inside. You the one turned me on the side. I you, turned you, you on the sex, but you ran with it my, and my and start buying. Uh, he start being more uh, sex than me. You shouldn't have did. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't <laughs> no. never introduce me. No. <laughs> you know it's crazy though because I don't think I don't. And I said this to you. I don't contribute that as a woman thing more so. For you horoscope guys, a Gemini thing. Like because I say this this day, when I got lit and start making money. I think you said this on Ball Alert. It's like I got broker. I start acting way broker. Yeah, because it's like I'm scared to go back. I'm petrified. Bro, no, for real. It's like, I'm bro, talking about my beginnings is humble. Walmart, working it up, airport, back. Bro, I can't Listen. ask my... She here. No, I feel Bro, that. I start making money, I start saving all of it. <laughs> like everything. What? Because like, if, if anything go wrong, oh, we ain't going back. Mm -mm. We at least going to have this to sit on just so... For a little minute now. So I don't think that's a... I wouldn't no, say a ain't. woman thing more so a Gemini thing. No, it ain't. No, and no, even no, like no, Even the Scorpio, like, to be, on, like yeah. to be honest, when I first met... Like, she's different now. When I first met my woman, it was all about, like, living Live. in now. Like, like appreciating. Like, yo, we can have... Fun. Like, I don't want to die with nothing. Like, we got to have experiences yes. and, like, experience life. And I'm like, man, f*** that. No. <laughs> we can do that when we rich. That is definitely mozzie. And you know what? But so you got to, when, when are you rich? Like, what, what make you rich? 
I hear that. But my mindset ain't pulling me out no more. But what I'm saying, the only thing I'm saying is like, your mindset is what got you the way you at. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things that we do that we have fun and we are lit doing. It's the things that. But you can have so much fun and you no, wake up, the fun, fun is I over. Just talking about, I ain't just Thanks. talking about fun. The fun is over. I ain't just talking about fun. Yo. I'm just talking about fun. I'm just talking about like, yeah. Of course, you gotta save and then, man. I'm I gotta invest. <laughs> but but let me say this. I, I that's smart though. Like I gotta not just saying invest. Like I'm gonna spend. Like I'm a I'm. He gonna spend that check. Basically. He gonna spend it. Yeah. And and you know I will say this. I want to say for the record, like. Yo, this is boy. I'm not horny. trying to rub on this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta relax. He's a Scorpio. Don't get you one. But I will say like. Through our adversities and our different mentalities when it comes to finances and just business in general, I will say that I've always admired about him. He reminds me of one of my sisters, and I've always told her, like, if I could have about 35% of y'all, I feel like I could be a better person because with Mozzie, we are running up, and the vacation is already planned in his world because in his mind, it's like, we just worked three months for this. You got the money you talking about already, did da da But my thing is, so we're not going to take three days and kick Come our on, feet up? Man. I, I be say, like, no, we're not. I can't make this up, bro. I, I say, yo, one thing I love is that, like, you are always going to, like, make sure you good. And not in a negative, like, on some pot, like, because it's times where I'm not making sure I'm good. Because I'm going to work, 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 work. And, like, one thing about our girl is, like, my fiance is, like, she going to make sure, like, now nah, you got to enjoy the fruits of your labor. What's like, I need that. that. Like, I can't, wait, I can't make that up. Yeah, what's life without it? It's like, yeah. it's like you get stuck on work, 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 work. Oh, no, we're going we gonna to balance this thing out. Mm. So I think we That's just another gotta, thing she introduced. Yeah, balance. I think we just balance. got to meet, you know what I'm saying, in the middle and try to, you know what I'm saying, balance yeah. it out. Yo, so we got that, the original, right? Coming back together after ha having that conversation of, like, understanding. Yeah. If y'all had to say one thing that was, I guess... Together, or y'all had agreement on mm -hmm. about the breakup. What was it that y'all agreed on? Did y'all agree on anything? To be okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no. <it> did. <laughs> you need some you more. You want to go? You need some more, Amy. I um, I can say to, that <sighs> it took the breakup to agree that me and Mozzie's scenario is so different. Like I don't I don't know anybody around us whose scenario worked like us. We came into the space of like social media, mm. the e-commerce world, the like YouTube world. We came into this young end and it was just like broken and oh wow, we woke up and got money and oh wow, now we in this mansion. Oh, look at your car, look at my car. But I can say one thing we talk about privately that we both agree, agree with is it was going so fast. We never once like stopped and looked back. I never looked back and was like, how, how you feeling about all this? Like yeah. this new life, mm. like, I never asked it once because, and he says the same up. thing to me. He says, I was keeping up the whole time, but that's something that men, I can't relate to. Like mm. him keeping the face and saving the face. Like, listen, I'm in oh, hyper overdrive because you wanted to move into this mansion. She was ready you to wanted to move in the condo. She was ready But you never said you wasn't the, ready. But it's like, I ain't going to stop you from trying to grow though. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, yeah. How much, how much was that? Do you feel like it was pressure though? Cause as a man, I feel like sometimes, like even me, I'm to be honest, like my girl came around saying, my girl came I'm gonna around. Tell, I'm gonna tell sis what you said. I'm she came her. around saying like, I want this, 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 and this. And as a man, I feel like I'm obligated to have it with you. If I can't give it to you, at least have it with you. Don't hold you back. How much do you, how much of the success or moving on up do you feel like was pressure like sh to be honest, it was the whole way. Yeah, you talking about that makes me feel so shitty. Nah, it's and, uh, it's the truth, and I love that. But yo, it makes me feel bad. You have no idea. So when a certain something happened, and it was able to, we was able to start. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn, hold on. I need to get over here and see what I could do to start making me some. some but you know, <laughs> I wish you had a said it. You know, mm. if you had to say, like, honestly. If you had to say, babe, we're not ready to move into this house, but we're I not. I would have been like, two more months in the condo then. But you got to think, I'm I'm happy that you able to just be straight without having to worry about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But that was our disconnect because you were so worried about me being straight and you were not being honest. 
and vocalizing, hey, we should pump the brakes. You was letting me yeah. run it and run it and run it. Yeah. And it was almost like you just kind of was. Yeah, that's what it. You didn't speak on it until it got bad. That's how I felt like yeah, you didn't speak true. on it until it got bad. Yo, speaking of that though, right? And I'm curious. This might not be nothing. Speaking on it until it got bad. How much of the relationship before we even get all the success? How much do you contribute to? Even we hear this thing called trauma bonding. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we 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 bond to people who got similar tra- similar, similar trauma traumas to us. Mm-hmm. How much do you contribute that to trauma bonding? I, I will contribute. I think it did. Yeah, yeah, it do. Ain't that crazy how like you can see somebody struggling and it looks so familiar and it's like that's the person that I love. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I want to be with. And when it's like that's not even real love, right? Uh, and as much as y'all learn to love each other and y'all grew to love each other, at first, if you look back on it, it's like, bro, we were just connecting off of off some of that. bullshit, honestly. And yeah. then, and then when it happened so fast, like for us, honestly. When Mozzie and I met, it was a wrap. Mm-hmm. I almost said like week four, week three, I was already prepared. People was getting cut off left and right. I knew I, what it was as soon as I met too. him. But I can say that the the bad part about like falling in love kind of overnight is, yeah, I found my person, but we didn't really give the time to Get let to me the- know about your traumas. Because yeah. I need to share about you. I didn't have a father figure. Let me talk about yours. And yeah. now it's so many years into it. We're going on year six. We had to go through this major explosion to be like, oh, you had these type of personal issues because of past family issues. I never shared with you what happened to me as a little girl. Mm. We never stopped and did that. We were like almost like, hey, I'm Amy. Hi, hey, I'm Mozzie. I met him handing me a CD. He handed me an album. And I'm like, oh, I rap too. Oh, you rap? I do skits. I do YouTube. We start hanging there. Next thing you know, we went viral. Next thing you know, we was a couple. Then the money. Then it was going. We never stopped and was like, tell me about your family. Mm. Tell me about your childhood. We only learned about it through arguing. Well, I've been through this nigga too. Like, oh, oh, Amy, I know you've been through that. I'm only expressing it because I'm mad. So trauma bonding first is a real thing. And it's almost like we're unraveling and kind of going in reverse now we should have took our time in the beginning we didn't mm. there's, there's no blue, blue, blueprint to it but I can say like year six this unraveling is like yeah now I'm asking questions like tell me about your childhood like mm. tell me how you were in middle school tell me about your first crush tell me when you lost your virginity like we never had those conversations because money was so involved mm. so fast it is like not a money here yeah. We didn't want to grab these things. We got to obtain them. We have to keep them. We need to keep talking about money then, for a little while. We just had, it was just, I, it was just the little, I don't know. When we first met, it was just crazy because we didn't separate. You know what I'm saying? Like we was just, and I ain't gonna say we weren't learning each other, but I feel like we was just, it was just, we was just happy to have that person that was like mm. the mm-hmm. opposite Ooh. sex, but that was like, got me. it. Like, and it was like, Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Let's just. You gotta look go, this way, man. Let's just go. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <This shit. laughs> yeah. You gotta say that shit. You feel let's me? Let's just go from here and try to make the best out of it, but not knowing after the time passing by those traumas like you talking we about. We should have been having them conversations you know for mm. sure. Yeah. Yo, ain't it? But it's. We hear all these talks about toxic relationship and this and that, but ain't it kind of dope that you go through. You got to. That, cause yeah. it's like that's just like even like what you probably done went through to ha- the final to have the J Hill. You know what I'm saying? Like these people that go through, man. Without without no hard work or without no not thinking that it was gonna work, but you still kept. No, that's the that's the that's the 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 beauty of it. Cause you over here not even thinking it's gonna work, but just because you kept going and mm-hmm. and you just knew that it was gonna work, it worked, bro. Not even like forget. The J Hill shit, right? And it's like I want to be careful with my words because I don't want to like promote toxicity in relationships. But yeah. right, like just being super honest, bro. Like me and my shorty went through shit that like I wouldn't, I wouldn't promote nobody to stay through. To be honest, really, yeah. Like just being honest. Why? Because it more so wasn't perfect. No. Yeah, but everybody's going through it. it Ours a, is just a little more public. Yeah, it was Yours just toxic. Yours is just a little more public. It was toxic. Like, nobody should stay through. 
But Just be honest. But y'all stuck through it. That's yeah. it, man. I'm telling you, that's it. I and mean, that's what I want people to hear, though. That, like, that's yeah. it, though, bro. Like, you don't, like, I'm, uh, I'm not, like, some, like, you, like, you're, you love this mom. You know what I'm saying? And then not only coming from probably a family who kind of did the same thing until you can understand each other and see mm. why you doing this and knowing that this person got to love me or so, like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it is. And also when you, what I'm learning too, even dating Mozzie, like, like I say, year six is here. In two months, year six. Bro, that's crazy. I think it's on a year six. Year the same. six in two months. Like the same. Like yeah, because we, really, we all met the yeah, same, bro. Yeah. We year six in uh, February. That's crazy. Yeah, same year. I it's, think that what we're both learning together is like we have so many people. Even to this day, the comments like we might post something where I'm somewhere supporting him or he's somewhere supporting me, and you'll get a percentage of people saying like, "But I thought y'all said this and that about each other. I thought you said this and this." But what I'm learning is. Love is like, mm. it's just not a perfect thing. You may have a mother who had her indifferences. She could have loved you a little better. Right. That does not mean your mom didn't mm. love you. It mm. just meant the capacity at the time of what she knew this is what it was. So it's no difference from my father. I had the best relationship, but I knew my father loved me. The way he loved me, I knew he could have loved me better. But that's the point of love. So going on and continuing and kind of spinning the block and going back to being like, well, let's pick up where we left at. That's the point of love because nobody ever told you love was perfect. I don't think any of us have seen one, mm. but the purpose of love is to be like, you know what? I didn't like this about you. You didn't like this about me. That hurt me. This hurt me. Let's separate. But people are so stuck on, you need to stand on it. She made you feel this way, Jay. You need to leave her. But it's like, hold on. Because mm. When I got with this person, I knew he came with a lifelong of stuff that had nothing to do with me before I came. When you're coming and meeting a person, you are almost committing to, like, I'm going to stick with you through this, that, and the third. Y'all may kind of derail and go this way and come back, but the goal is to bring it back. So I stand on my truth. Like, when I broke with Mozzie a year ago, my family, my friends, everybody that's in my real circle, not social media, they'll tell you, like, Oh, she was saying, he going to get it right. He going to figure this out. We going to get back together. I Even on your show, I said, oh, I didn't say I wouldn't get back with him. That's mm-hmm. what y'all said. I never answered it. Y'all yeah. said all these things about him. Yep. I believed even during a breakup, like, Mozzie is a good person. He's going to go figure out, like, hey, do I want to be this type of man? Do I want to be this type of man? But that's a journey alone. That's not, he can't be on my journey and teach me the type of woman I want to be. He can't do that. I have to know who I want to be. I feel like the way we met, it was a it was a crazy scenario. And I still stand on my truth to this day publicly, even down to the TV show. We broke up because same love, two faithful people, two committed people. But if the goal for me is for me to be your wife one day and you to be my husband, and that's to e- us to equally share the load of success and bills and whatever. That's all I wanted. I didn't say, I'm leaving him and fuck him. He a fuck nigga. I'm never coming back. I'm saying, sir, you got a good thing. This is not working. Let's see what you want to do. He could have decided in a year to be like, actually away from you from from a year, I realized I don't even want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be with a girl like you. But we made our way back. So it's this weird thing on social media that like when public figures break up, it don't work out to come back. And it's like, your scared. mom and daddy came back. Your, your uncle and your auntie came back. It's the same scenario. I like to scenario. say it's going to get worse before it get better, man. And, and, Damn, and, and even true. if it start off better, just like, don't be scared of when it do get worse. Like, know how to fight it through because yeah. it's like you said, a balance. And don't be worried about the Faith. people around you. Yeah. Mm.